Hi, everybody. Oh, gosh. Look what we did. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's my ceiling. I should put something up there, you know, like when you're at the doctor's office and they have something cool on the ceiling. Because, uh, oh, we're going to have sound. Don't, don't have sound. There we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Julie. I'm the queen creator and CEO at Dear Julie Julie and Dear Julie Julie DIY. And today I am bringing to you my not the favorite thing <laughs> about junk journals. So if you saw the little mini video um, of me putting redoing the papers over and over again really fast, you saw that I did add the coffee dyed papers and I don't know if you noticed but I also went ahead and went with Tim Holtz um, the wildflower papers on the front of all three so the other thing that happened was I had enough papers from what I was doing I added the um, coffee dyed paper to go ahead and put together a another a, a single journal so you'll recognize some of these papers from what we were doing and I made this and then I also have like five or six pages and I started a list journal as well so that's the center so this is wallpaper it has an image from Courting Lady Jane digital kit and on the inside I used one of the large sheets of coffee dyed paper this is the um, okay I'm not blurry on mine and I don't have my my mask my mask on no I don't I don't have it on either but I don't have my microphone on I yeah yeah it's always okay so how's that? Can you hear me better now? <laughs> there you go. Okay. So um, so this is the the paper that you can get at Dollar Tree. And it, it's a bigger white paper. And I coffee dyed it. And so it was big enough to go in the 9 by 12 um, paper here. So that is the extra journal that I made. One of the papers that I was, um, oh, I just knocked down a whole bunch of doilies, um, that I showed you. So, uh, one other thing is, uh, you might've noticed I added another file into the scrap all about it with Dear Julie Julie. It's the same images, but it's the big page. So it's really kind of cool when they're, when they're cut out to be able to use them. And so I will be using those. Um, I will be using the free digital kit in this journal also I mean because there's kids on the front and look he's got the the big net now here he's catching the fish probably but it's still a big net so <laughs> thinking oh we can put our little our kids in there we can put this stuff and it, it's gonna be really cool so there you go am I doing creative avoidance to stay away <laughs> from having to um, bind that could be so anyway, so I have three signatures. They're 15 pages each, and that did count all the pages, um, even the ones that I'm going to eventually connect together. Um, it doesn't count the doilies, okay? But it even counted these and the vellum pages. Um, so that is, it's a pretty hefty journal, but I'm planning to only put the um, embellishments that we've already made and then a couple more that just will kind of finish it and to leave a lot of the, the writing pages as writing pages and just stencil on them. So um, I'm going to try that. So we'll see how I do because, you know, sometimes I can't do stuff like that's easy. <laughs> I have to fill it fuller. You should see my yard right now. And, and you will. <laughs> I just uh, videotaped the before. 
And um, luckily, the whole thing about the videotaping is I realized that, um, you know, I wasn't here most of the days last last year from, I, I was, yeah. So, I mean, a lot of days I was not here. So everything is so behind. It's a whole year behind. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm using graph paper. When I'm doing um, three, three, uh, that's the easiest way for me to do it is I like to use graph paper. It gives me more squares to, to work with. So I'm just measuring by the square. And I'm going to go ahead and trim that right there. And I'm using the, the center of this because I can go ahead and put them... I'll cut this, and I'll be able to save the other, the sides. I now have a place up here that I keep my templates, and so so this one I really am live. Yes, I am really live. Um, I so I'm not in chat. So sorry, that's the it's the difference. The other one is pre-recorded. The one in the morning is pre-recorded, and I get to be in the chat with you and answer questions. This one is hard. I, I actually have to pay attention to, <laughs> to what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and come over here. And my book, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with the way that this ended up turning out, especially when you consider it was a two cereal boxes. Um... I think that I was pretty, I, I think it turned out pretty good. How's everybody else's that made theirs out of cereal boxes? Are you happy with them? So I'm just a, a little smidge over two. So we're going to do one inch for each side. And I'm going to mark it with a pink pen. Ah, I, yeah, you missed the morning. Um, what did we do? We did you this morning. Tomorrow will be either X or W. They're both done. They're both uploaded. I just have to um, to do the... Okay, so I've got those. That's And that's... <laughs> I'm okay with <laughs> that I messed up a whole page. Um, so I, what I'm doing is I'm cutting a template that is the whole size of my center here. Now, the one thing about using this is look at there's holes. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, dairy, that's cool. Do you use two cereal boxes, one cereal box, three? Do you use fabric? Tell me about how you do your cereal box. Well, I'm really... So, you guys, when I was um, looking at... Or finding, looking for books to be able to put the big fat books on, the, on here um, to help keep this... To get it to go down... Um, I found my Monet art book, and it is, it was originally $75. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I guess I should see if it's, if I should be putting it online. So the next thing you want to do is you want to check it like that, and because that is going to make a difference, okay? Do you see how it buckled? And so I'm going to go ahead and cut this on the line. We'll just cut it straight on this line. I hate binding on on camera, you guys, because I actually have a video out there, How Not to Bind a Journal. It's quite hilarious. I did it upside down. I put a signature in backwards. 
I think I had the, the binding string break all on one video. It was, it was hilarious. And I was like, well, I can't just keep this to myself. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So that does fit. I have two of my things already threaded. So that will um, make some of you feel better. Because you know that <laughs> that's, sometimes that's the hardest part. Sometimes it's the easiest part. But with my the new needles that I'm using, it's actually very easy. This journal is nine by six by two. I love that that ended up on there. You remember me making this, th <laughs> speaking of hilarious videos, when I thought that I had done my cover wrong? Thank you for hitting the thumbs up on your way in. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the thumbs up um, really does help, especially since I have the person that thinks that they should put thumbs down on all my videos. So if I have that one thumbs down and f what was like 50 thumbs up, it's still like 90 something percent. It's, um, yeah, it's like really one thumbs down. It's like, uh. Okay, so I've got my center right there. Okay, so I folded this in half and I folded it in half this way. And luckily we ended up on a, on a square. So, um, so that's helpful. And then I'm going to go ahead and count down for my first one. I'm going to skip this one and go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to, to put it in the middle. Okay. So skipping the first one, one, two, three, four, five, six in the middle. Skipping the first one, one, two, three, four, five, six in the middle. Okay? And then I'm going to do the same thing going the other way. Skip the first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, go to the middle. Skip the first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, go to the middle. Okay? And so that's where my five holes will be. Um, the, the journals will end about here and about here. Oh, that's the next thing is we want to make sure when we're doing more than one, we want to make sure we write top. Okay. Because this, we're going to use this and we're going to put holes in the spine and then we're going to use this centerpiece and put holes in the three signatures and then they're going to go into their three spots. Well, when we measure, we want to make sure that we have the top. Okay? Yes, I know, I know that, Darlene. I, 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 do, I, I do know that. So I should be thankful it's still, it's, you know, how many times have I, well, I come into the video and there's already a thumbs down. I ha I wasn't even here. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just me. Okay. Um, okay, so this is our center point and we have one, two, three, four, five squares, which is interesting. We got lucky, actually, because <laughs> we have five squares on each side. Um, now, the thing is, is because we're doing three, we are going to use the middle. And then I'm going to want the same amount. Okay, so when, I, when you look at a signature and it's coming up kind of like this, and so you want the same amount of space for this, 
as you have for this. And then a little less here. So you want less here, more here, more here, and less here. I hope that makes sense. So um, if we do, I think, what you know, I'm just going to make it easy, though. I'm going to go right here on, go over three and over three. So that gives me like a one and a half area for each signature on each side. Does that make sense? Okay, so um, now I'm going to go ahead and go up and put my, my little dots. See, I know what I'm doing. It's trying to figure out how to explain what I'm doing. <laughs> the method to my madness. So if you have questions about that, please put them in capital letters. And um, I will answer it. Or the my um, <laughs> Juliet Juliet's wrenches will <laughs> will help answer it also. And we have all these other people in here that can help. Please, no question is um, stupid when it's about junk journals. There is no stupid question. And um, you know we really want to help everyone to enjoy this hobby and and get past the place of just collecting and be ready to make something so um it's time for new <laughs> I'm, i've opened my drawer up further so that i can get some new um yes please if you have so yeah if you have any questions please ask and I, I mean, I, I still have questions. So, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the holes in my spine first. The spine of my journal. And I am using paper clips. That's, what, that's my choice. I like to use paper clips. For this part, I'm using, they're the larger ones. And I'm putting the smaller on the front. And yes, I could just do one on each side, but sometimes things slip. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm, I'm coming and doing this again. You see, I'm a little over that way. So I need to pull my paper just a little bit. And the... The little things like this sometimes can make a difference on how well your journal closes Oops, and accepts. Let's take that off. Pull that over. Okay. Okay, so we are going to do a five-hole pamphlet stitch, three... There we go. Three um, signatures. Five hole pamphlet stitch. We have five holes. Three. <laughs> and now, I do, Cheryl. Um, I do a mixture and I kind of bounce around. I have two journals that I use that I love to use. I also um, do the, I draw, I know, crazy, huh? I draw in my Bible. And, um, so I kind of do, uh, both. It has been, um, it has been really great for me. And it's been on the days when I don't have time to Bible journal, but I can go back and look. And I, um, that has been amazing and beautiful to be able to go back and look at what I had done. And, um, you know, you know how it is for me anyway, that there can be a subject that 
is on my mind or on my heart and something will happen and I don't get to read today's whatever is in my devotional or whichever book I'm using. Um, I, oh, I use a push pen. You guys, I have trouble with my thumb and the all, I cannot control it and it, and it gets, I get cramps holding the tool. So I have started using a push pen and I have much more control and it, it has totally changed, um, this for me. Cheryl, is there something that you draw that you like? Something that, like even a word. Um, when I was when I was a cheerleader in high school, and I I made most of the the posters and stuff. Um, one of my favorite things to write was something special. I was also the programs and rallies chairman at my at my school, so I was in charge of all the all the rallies and all the programs that were brought to the to the high school, um, and. I I love the way that looked. So I used to use that a lot. <laughs> um, for my coloring in my Bible, I have a pattern that I like to draw that is daisies, of course. I use highlighters. And I have some little dot flowers that I make and some other things. And so I just kind of have done the same thing. Now, occasionally I will, you know, throw a rainbow or something in there. <laughs> I was always an overachiever. Yeah. You guys, I, I went to an all, uh, a school that had borders, but the borders were all boys. And they actually gave me a room so that I could do my homework. <laughs> And change clothes before the events and things that we had in the evening. <laughs> My room was downstairs by the kitchen. And it before that it was like a conference a room, a conference room. They still used it also for that, but <laughs> they didn't want me to not be doing my homework. Okay, so I've got, oh, got one more hole. Got a cat. <laughs> I've got, um, pedal pushers or whatever, pants on, crop pants. <laughs> the cat just walked past and her fur was on, on my leg. It freaked me out. It's warm here today and it's going to be in the 90s tomorrow and Saturday. It's like a whole different world. Okay, so I have made my holes. I want to look and make sure I can see them on the other side because I'm going to need to be able to see them. And so, yay. Okay, so far so good, you guys. <laughs> I couldn't think of the other word. <laughs> so I called them pedal pushers. Um, that was... That was my mom coming through right there. Okay, so what did I do with the signatures? Oh, they're, they're over here. <laughs> okay, so here we have our three. And you guys, I think, I, I love this one, but I think it's too busy um, for the to be the first one. Um, I guess, what's in the center of this one? This one has the, the, the little... The little house. Okay, so that can go in the back. This one has the wisteria. So this one can be the front one. And this one should have my mom and dad's bench. Right? Yeah, there's their bench. Okay. Okay. So thank you for helping me with, <laughs> with that. There we go. Oh, 
support painting. That's a good idea. For I mean, there's so many of us that are um, starting to get shaky and not able to to do the fine stuff. Now, have you guys seen the aluminum foil painting? Where she or he, I don't, I, bundles up the aluminum foil and does the trees and stuff. Now the tree, the trunks are still painted with a brush, but um, those those are amazing. I think after I get the yard to where all I have to do is water it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just checking. Right now what I'm doing, I'm going through and checking to make sure that my pages are where I want them. I actually want this up higher. And the only reason I want it up higher is usually the bottom of my journals will get so full with pockets and stuff, it's good to have some of my pages up at the top. Plus, I really like her. Even though this is very muted, because um, I, I blew it up so big, but I like, I like the fact because it's muted like that, then it, I don't feel so bad adding other things onto my pages. Um, that's just me. Okay, so this has already been pushed up. This is a piece of wallpaper um, border that I have. And so I added that in. Um, oh, this is the other side. No, this is uh, coffee embossed paper right here. So there's the butterfly, there's the agapanthus. If you saw the coffee dyeing video from last week or the week before. Um, so, and then I went ahead and added, added the doily here. Okay, so I think everything is where it should be. That's important. And I've decided this is going to be my first signature. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my journal to the center. Woohoo! I'm scared. Okay, so now, remember, this is going to be a little bit bigger than our, um, than our journal pages. So the next thing I need to do is I need to figure out where I'm going to put it. And I need to mark it so that my other journal, my other signatures will fall into that same place. So I think what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to use this line at the top. Um, it's one square away. Okay. And I'm going to make that is going to be what I am going to... Um, line my journals up to. Okay, so on the top, now I'm going to make sure that I'm in the center really good here. Then I'm going to find my <laughs> my spine. Okay, everybody say a prayer. <laughs> okay, um, go ahead and add my I'm going to add my, um, okay, see, already moved, already moved, okay, add my clips, these are clips, and this time they can go all the way down, especially if I have a small piece here, which you're going to see, I do have one that has a small piece, we're going to make sure that we're Lined up with that, that's my most, and then lined up in the center. Really, it doesn't take me this long when I'm doing this. Just, okay. Next, very important thing. This is the bottom of my, <laughs> of my journal. This is the top. This is the front. This is the first signature. All those things are important. <laughs> I'm going to make my holes now. Okay. How's everybody doing over here? Okay, so the other thing that I, I use is this is, um, it's a mouse pad. It was. It had papers in the, 
on top of it like a hundred papers and um, and now I use it as a, a push holder so that I don't push into my desk because the other day I didn't think I was and I was pushing and there's a trail of pin holes was the day I was doing the oh it was in the party when I went around the outside of the journal with the baker's twine okay so I'm same thing I'm putting my holes in and I'm making sure that I can see through them as I go around because I don't want to accidentally move them so if I can see light through all the holes it's where it's supposed to be okay so there's the fourth one I see the light. Okay, good job. And here we go. Okay, checking for the light. We got light. Okay, so next I'm going to take my template out. This time it's very important that I take my template out. Sometimes it doesn't matter. On a single signature, it doesn't matter. Um, but I need to be able to use this same template. So it needs to come out. Checking for the light. Something moved. Something moved. Okay, so let's go in. And just take, they just, if, if they move just a little bit, it's going to be hard to see. So, okay, now we're on to the needle. Okay, we're on to the needle. And I have solved my needle problem with these needles. Okay, so these are at Dollar General. I don't really care about these. These are great, and I can use those for something. It's these down here, and they're instant threading hand needles for knits, lingerie, and elastic. And you see, they you put your thread up here, and you pull it down, and it goes into the hole. This has saved me so much. Oh, my gosh. The next thing is, is I like to use the smallest needle that I can thread with um, the thread that I'm using. I'm going to be using crochet thread today. I don't know what size it is because I've never had to buy it. Um, people give it to me. People know that I craft and people give me stuff constantly. They just give me stuff. I don't tell them no. I just take it and I figure out what to do with it. If it's something that I can't use, um, then I figure I, if I know somebody that can, I give it to them or I donate it. Or I throw it away because sometimes, you know, you, it's like <laughs> it's like getting some of this and it's got glue in it or something. <laughs> yeah, right. Can't even make messy string out of it. Um, okay, so you just take and lay your thread on your needle and pull it through. That's all you have to do. Lifesaver. Like I said, it, I got mine at Dollar General. And it has been amazing. So now we're going to make sure that we actually put our journal into our cover. That's one of the things that I do a lot of the time on the camera. Is I don't get my cover. <laughs> and I make a beautifully... <laughs> beautifully stitched signature not in the journal okay so just like when I do the the single one I go ahead and I'm going to put it through the center hole and you see this little needle it's so so easy okay so if this is the one time okay now I've gotten good at the single signature and not pulling my string through but with the, the more than one signature, one of the things that I found that I could do is I can 
go ahead and tie something on the end here just so that I don't pull it through. And especially so I don't pull it through on camera because, you know, that's when it usually happens. Okay, so this is just a little thing I do because when you're put when I'm putting things through here and through here and all of a sudden that just goes through and I have to start over it's just not fun okay so let's see here we go we're going through the middle hole this is the front of my journal that don't be afraid to check 20 times that you've got the front, the top, the middle, the top, yeah, and the first signature, okay? So then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go through the hole. That's the one thing about it being so small is sometimes it falls right out of the hole. Through the hole, I'm going to come, ah! <laughs> it doesn't usually fall out twice. Okay, through the hole, get it all the way through. Okay. The thing was, is in the beginning, I thought that I needed the, a big, huge needle. Well, the other thing about a big, huge needle is it compromises your journal. The bigger the hole you have, your journal moves around in that hole. So now I've just come and I'm going through the second hole at the top. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull it. But not all the way tight. I like to leave about an inch and a half between my journal page and my journal cover. Okay, so we'll go in. Now we're coming back out. See, and now we come back out this top one. Now we need to go back through the second one. So we're just going to come over here, come through. I'm holding on to this signature because I don't want my needle to put a hole in my in my um, signature. Okay, so now I don't know if you see what happened here. This happens, okay? I my string has gone through the other string. Um, that's bad. So we're gonna undo this. This is another reason I absolutely love these needles because this doesn't even bother me anymore. And I'm going to take it out of that thread because a couple things happen. If you go ahead and you leave it, that has been compromised. And now that your strings are going to be rubbing on each other. So um, not to mention that that was totally going to move up. So we just go ahead and... Go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay, so now for the middle one, to um, keep that from happening, I want to make sure that this is down a little bit because I like some of my um, signature strings to be below the line. And so... I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pull this one towards the top and put my needle in on the right. And try not to grab onto the thread. Same reason. Okay. There we go. Now, I don't know if you can see all this going on down here. You see we've got, this is what we've got going on. So you have a double here, you're going to have a double here, you're going to have a double here, and you're going to have a single here. So we're going to go back through. And we're going to do this three times. Oh, goody. Maybe, maybe we won't, just because for time's sake. And then I could maybe stitch... Because I, I was like, oh, I, I should have sewn something. or There's the hole. Okay. So I can tell you this little needle makes all the difference. Because the other thing is when you're um, 
going through. It is so irritating to have your needle get stuck. Or the eye of the needle to get stuck. Okay, so now I have everything is, is through. Okay, so I'm going to start tightening my strings up. So remember the first one went through and came up here. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to pull from the top. Not from the bottom because you see the bottom is this string. So I'm going to pull from the top. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to pull that one tight. Okay. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to pull that one tight. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to pull this one tight. Okay. Then I'm going to check and make sure there's no bunching, no, um, no knots. Because that happens sometimes. We end up with knots. Hi, everybody that came in. <laughs> and, um, okay, so there we go. Look at this. This We look real good here. And so the next thing that I do is I like to go ahead and I come through this, this second one. I'm going to check that, make sure again that we're really tight. Okay. And then I go ahead and I tie this off. Okay. So one single tie. And I'm going to pull it as tight as I can without breaking the string. Okay. And there you go. I did it. Hooray. Hooray. Thank you for the prayers. <laughs> Okay, so that is our first signature. It is top, top, very good. So, there we go. So the next thing you've seen me do is I'll go through and just push my pages down before any of the ephemera comes in. Um, just because it's going to make it easier to use this. Okay. When you get to the pages like this, you want to make sure that you don't rip them. This is, um, I think this is the one that's supposed to go together and become a pocket. I'm not sure. We'll see. Don't lose that template. Okay, so you can see the back of the embossed paper. It's just lightly embossed. Just kind of a fun thing to have something a little different. This is how we did this. Okay, and we'll be able to put a pocket across here or something. This is from the Tiny Houses Digital Kit in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. So were those pages with the, the cottages on them. This is the other side of the um, coffee dyed embossed paper. Okay. And this is easy. It's easier to do when there's just one in here. So... I bet, I bet you want to go shopping now that you've got, you can print. Oh my gosh. Well, the digitals are all on sale while we're home for 50% off. So, okay. Okay, so that's our first signature. And I think that turned out, oh, yay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now we have our second one. 
And the main thing I'm going to do is just, I know that the second one's supposed to have mom and dad's bench. There it is. And so now same thing. We're going to go ahead and go through this one. Make sure that our pages are the way that we want them. Um, sometimes like if a flap, if like, like this kind of page, um, the other side of this has a flap. And if you end up, you've got a flap and a flap, you might want to turn the plain one over. Um, so things like that. I'm, I'm just checking one more time. Postcard all the way to the top. Because this is the last time you can move um, pages around. You know what? I think that might be kind of cool in a stair step. Should it go up? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So it's, this is the last time you can do stuff like, here's some coffee dyed paper on a heart pan. There it is a little better. Scrapbook paper pocket. And then the inside center with the California poppies. Although this is a French garden, but we that's our state flower. So, And then um, this we're going to make this into a pocket somehow. I haven't decided how yet, but it's going to be a pocket. And then look at that beautiful. Oh, okay, so I'm, I'm happy with that. So all those things, we're going to do all those things again. We're going to make sure that we are lined up. We're going to add our... template yes the reason I haven't done swapping is because I it's there's a lot to um, keeping track and making sure people are doing what they say they're gonna do um, and I, I wouldn't, I just couldn't do that. So that's why I haven't had it. Um, so do know that if you swap, you're swapping at your own risk. I, I totally trust the people that we have in here. Um, but, you know, and remember life happens. You, the most important thing about swapping is communication. Um, and yeah, so, and we'd love to see what you swap, too, and what you get. And just so you know, my whole YouTube thing started because of swapping um, Happy Mail. Because I, I wanted a way to show what people were sending me in a better way than just a picture. And so I... I'm very much a believer in swapping. Plus, you all know that most people out there don't get us. They don't, or they don't get me. That's for sure. And that I would rather craft and spend my money on that kind of stuff than the things that other people do and spend their money on. And their time. I would rather be doing this right here, right now, than watching TV. Definitely. Um, so, anyway. That's... Make sure you have questions that they have to answer. To get in there, Bonnie, if you're doing a group. You don't want just anybody coming. Because the thing is that what happens with a group on Facebook, you guys, is when you first make a group, there's people out there that are just watching for the new group. <laughs> okay, so I've got my holes. I had my top. I did my top right. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I was talking. I forgot to check my... Okay, so here we go. 
We're going to do this again. This is the second signature. This is when I usually put my signature in upside down. So I am going to go ahead. I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to move these paper clips so that they're helping me not end up with these flaps. I'm going to check the light one more time. Okay, light is good. I have I have one already ready. Oh, thank you, Darlene. Thank you. Tell him thank you. Does he fish? Did you see the fishing one? I think that's one of my favorites ever that I've made. The patriotic one, that's another one I love. Actually, I, I, the, yeah, they're, they're fun. So, and I'm doing one right now that um, is going to be really cool. And it's for the March party. The March party will be next Wednesday at 3.35. So the Beginners Series, um, maybe we'll do a, um, we'll do a premiere of a video for the Beginner Series on Wednesday, but it'll be, it'll be at 10.30 because I'll have all the elements for the The challenge will be done by then. So I did add my paper clip, so I'm, that makes that makes me a little less stressed. Okay, I forgot. One of the other things I usually do is clip this. Because otherwise it's going to flip and flop. Ooh, trains. I, well, I have some train stuff. I could maybe do like train and trolley. Travel. Ta train, trolley, travel. Maybe. Oh. I do not see the light. Forgot to pray. Already? He'll have been gone 21 days on Wednesday? Wow, that went fast. Probably not for you, but... Okay. So doing all the same stuff again. And when I think about it, I check again to make sure. Oh. Oh my gosh, I have a friend here in town that has Asperger's and trains is his, is his thing. I haven't seen him in years. Um, he used to come in the coffee shop that I, I frequented. My other friend from that wrote so many songs, you guys, that we know. And he just put up a playlist. It had 180 songs that he either wrote or co-wrote. And I was shocked. I had no idea. I knew that he wrote music. And I knew that he had written, like, with Michael Jackson and, and other, Janet Jackson and other people. But I did not, oh my gosh. My prerogative. That was one of the... It's my prerogative. I was shocked. Um, okay. I, I, I can't see the light. 
and it's right there. Sometimes I think I used to get more done when I wasn't home all the time. <laughs> but then I, I look at what I really do every day and I get a lot done. But on the days that I go back to bed and don't stay up when we get up at 4, um, it just seems like I don't get anything done. I get a lot done in that first couple hours. Oh, dang it. I think it moved. Oh, little pin, where did you go? I need you. I need you so. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so I think the key is the little needle has really been helpful. For me, I mean, if you guys remember how frustrating So Tuesday, let me I, I need to make sure that I don't <laughs> and will I have it ready? Um yeah, we can do it Tuesday. Cause we want Kelly to be there. So I just, and I haven't made the, I haven't made the, the thing or anything. So I'll, um, so the, the party for the March journals, for those of you that finished your March journals, the party will be next Tuesday. Okay. So there we're just tightening it up again. from that edge. <laughs> I was pulling from the wrong side. Okay. Now check it. Looks good. Looks good and tight. If you have a Dollar General, I highly recommend this. These needles, they are, they've changed my, um, yeah, they've, they've changed my life. When journals are your life, a needle could do that. It could change your life. Right? Like a printer. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We've got two. Um, I'm not going to do the other one today because you guys don't need to watch me do the third one. Um... But I wanted you to see that we, we do all the same things to put the second one in. We'll go ahead and do the same thing for the third one. It will go in those holes right there. We will do all of the same steps. We'll make sure that our top is on top. We'll go through and check and make sure our pages are where we want them. Then, then I go through. I'll undo this because I don't want... Um, lines and I'll go through and start folding my second one my my all my pages down and that just makes it so they're um, ready for me to <laughs> ready for me to work in them okay so um, I think we can go ahead and we'll put a few Oh, okay. So you do, I do, I, okay. <laughs> okay, so we will do the third one. Okay, everybody start praying right now. It's like third time. Can I do three? 
You guys, this is an amazing draw. I'm really... I'm liking this. I love the colors. So this is Antique Garden. Digital kit from the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. Um, so in these pages I've used Antique Roses digital kit. Courting Lady Jane. This is from Tiny Houses. This, I don't remember which one that's from. I Actually, I think that's from Romantic Valentine. My very first digital kit. It's a little one. Some of my digital kits, uh, half price, are only $2. $2.50. Two at 50% um, at off, which all the digitals are 50% off right now. Okay, so that is down. Hi, Darius. Um, well, <laughs> quick. I wasn't so quick yesterday picking out my pages. You can watch yesterday's live video. Um, I struggled, and then I, and I, for some reason, I came, I came to the party here, and didn't have my um, my coffee dyed paper. So. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, just like we did before. I'm going to go through and check my pages. There's a flip out. This is going to be a double tuck right here. So the page is already ready. I think I'm going to go ahead and attach those two pages, and there'll be a pocket. My, my doily looks good. Okay, so we had the flip out for, the, for that. We have a flip out for that. This is going to get, um, it's not going to be a flip out. It's going to get um, glued or taped. Um, there's charger plate embossing, coffee dyed charger plate. So that was in the video the other day. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this and have the flap on the other side. Okay. So those are the things that I'm checking for this right before. The other thing is I'm moving things up. Um, because remember, I'll be putting pockets and the bottom of the journal will get very bottom heavy. So, okay, also can make sure that they're in the, the crack there as there should be. So this is the center and it's the cottage and the tree the sky the sky trees and I want it to be right in the center so now I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to make sure my pages are all good and together ah, okay now we go ahead and oh that's a good way of doing it Bonnie because random people won't just find it because of the other name good idea okay so if I put this up high I can put some kind of pocket or something down down here under here um, or I can do stenciling on both sides and you can have writing. So I'm going to be thinking about that while I put my things in here. So those kinds of things, if, you, if you're contemplating that, you that's another um, spacing thing. And might be a reason that you might be um, doing something. Okay, since this has the, the flap, I'm going to go ahead and... Hopefully, not drive myself crazy with the, but that should help keep it where it's supposed to be. Okay, fold it, fold it, make sure everybody's in, edge to edge. Okay, 
This is our top. <laughs> this is our top. Okay. Make sure it's our top. <laughs> in every way, shape, and form. Okay, put this in the middle. Good idea on the question. I I will give you my two cents. <laughs> oh, so I can so you can put I'll get in there, so that maybe occasionally I can randomly send something out. I won't be doing swapping. I'll just send. I'm a very I I turned into a bad swapper. You guys, once my parents got sick, I um, I forgot. I've just I just forgot. So. Yeah, I, I became a bad swapper. Okay, um, so top, top, third, third, we're good. <laughs> and now we'll go ahead and poke, poke our holes. Well, and if I send you something, you don't have to send me anything. <laughs> I just might randomly send stuff. That kind of is, is a cool idea because, you know, if, if we know that you are within our group, if we know that you are making, um, you know, a bee journal or trains then we might be able to even to do racks, which is a random act of kindness. Okay, so I will tell you the, the whole order that I use when I start stitching. That's the whole reason we're doing this third, third one. And you see, I'm really struggling because this is little and um, it's, it's not as substantial. Do you see that? Hmm, that might be something for me to think about, especially when I'm going to be on camera. Go, oh yeah, make sure I've got French garden papers in the center. Because these are, this is like an amazing weight of paper also. Okay, so go ahead, take the template out. Leave the paper clips in. Okay. Checking for light, missing light. When I say that, I'm I'm just making sure there's light behind the the holes that my um, things have not moved and the center one moved. Okay, so I have light, no light, no light, light. Okay, light. So after I get this done, I'll put a thing on this other side. This is what really happens when you bind, you guys. That other was just an illusion. <laughs> Where everything went so well, that is not normal. <laughs> But a big part of that is because I have this little one in here and it's just not being held by anything. So we'll hold it. Okay. So top, top. And there it moved again. Okay. 
hold on. Well, it just might end up with extra holes in it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so, um, well, with all that, we're gonna go ahead and add a paper clip for sure. With all this other stuff that's happening, so I'm gonna add a paper clip, and that will keep me from just pulling my thing through. Okay, so, thank you, Robin. Okay, so we're going to go through the center hole. I can see the light. I can barely see it, but there's a little bit of light right there. Okay, so we're going to go through the center hole. Now, when I do it, I go up. So, if, like Donna was saying, if this is A, B, C, D, E. That's what she was talking about. The holes are A, B, C, D, and E. So I go through C. I'm going to come up B. I think that's what she was talking about. Okay. So come up B. So I'm going to come from the outside through the hole up B. I'm going to go back down through A. You want to watch it when it does that because some. Oh, you guys, look at what I'm doing. <laughs> I told you, this is like. That's the easiest way to fix that, okay? Here we go. We're going to try this again. We're going to start with C, and we're going to go through the cover. Jeez. At least I figured it out before I saw that I was being told that I was doing it wrong. Okay, so we're going to go through the cover. Make sure we're still up. We are. Okay. Then That's when I usually mess up is like one thing after another. You know how when you stub your toe and then you trip over something, all things happen, that's what happens when I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna come back through here. Um, first, I'm gonna make sure there's light because this one is the one that's struggling. Okay, so there. So up through B, back through A, A, and then through the cover, A. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, look at, look what we almost did. Hi, Kathy M. Welcome. There we go. This is more like it. <laughs> this is how you really bind a book. Things go through the center. You end up with knots. Okay. So we are on A. We've come through A. Through the cover. Now we're going to go back through the cover. Through B. Through the cover, through B, and through the book, through B. And my page is not, yeah, don't do little pages in the middle on screen, on camera, Julie. That's just dumb. Okay, so that's B. 
pull this one up, come down through C, pull this one up. <laughs> Down through C. Down through C. Through the cover. See, I've done things like gone like this and sewn. I've sewn and had it all done. And my string was like this. All kinds of things. So now we are at D. Okay, so we're going to go up through D. So I'm just going to find the hole on my cover. Okay, so the holes A, B, C, D, E. Top is A, bottom is E. Middle is C. Like middle C, like on the piano. Does anybody play the piano? I used to play the piano. I can play like three songs. That's it. I hated practicing. So we're going down through E. We're going to come back through the back. Again through D. Back up through the book. Through D. Short needle too, you guys, not just small and, um, but short because the shorter it is, the less area you have to have between your cover and your journal. Okay. I need my, I have, I don't have light. Oh, well, we'll just, oh, no, we did it. Fine. Yay. Okay, so up through D. So we've done all the stitching. Now we're going to go ahead and you see how we're, we're um, not tight? We're going to go ahead and tighten it. Okay, so we started here. So it went down there and came up. So we're going to start by taking this and pulling it. But we're pulling it from here. So it is pulling tight into this stitch. Then we can go ahead and pull this. And our first two stitches should be tight. So just go and check them. Make sure they're not knotted or anything. Now our last stitch that still has the needle on it. And a lot of times I leave the needle. And I'll go ahead and um, do my signature ties right now. Like right after this is well, there's still a needle on here. Okay, so this time, this is coming out. So I am going to start by, um, okay, so it's coming out here. So I'm going to start by pulling this from that direction. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm pulling this thread tight. Then I'm going to be able to come back and pull this thread tight. And now all of my threads are tight. I'm going to check on my book and make sure that they are flush with the spine, and they are. And again, this is how I do it. I, I, I hope it's right. It works. Okay, so next I'm going to come up and I'm going to use my needle and go underneath this second string, the one between B and C, pull it through. And pull it tight. Pull these up. Use my needle to come around. Tie it in a knot. And double tie it. Pull it down. If I'm using my needle, I go ahead and add the things like beads and things if I'm going to be adding them. Otherwise, I go ahead and I come down and I leave area because I sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do on the bottom of them yet. And there you go. And then I put my thread in my little kitty. And I put my thread in my little kitty. 
I have a kitty um, pin cushion that I had before I got to have a kitty. So there we go. So that is, oh my gosh. Thank you, Kelly, because you needed to see that. This journal is all bound. And look, it is pretty, it's, um, I mean, it's full. If I'd have ironed the pages, it would not be this, this, um, this full. But there we go. We have made a journal out of cereal boxes. Okay. So then the, the one last thing that I would do on this is I go ahead, just like I did with the others, and I go ahead and um, break, I call it breaking the paper. I'm telling it where it's supposed to go. And that's, that's what I call it. Breaking the paper, breaking it in. So, and sometimes when I'm doing this part, my, my brain is just starting to get more ideas of what we're going to be able to use. Again, this is the charger coffee date paper. Okay, so using a charger plate that had decorations. Bye, Terry. I use just regular crochet thread. I do not know the size because it did not have a package. None of them have a package that I have. So um, no paper on them. This was the little polka dotted paper that we made that day. This is the center of our signature for this one. This is the other side of the polka dot paper. I like that it, um, the little polka dots end up like white. Jody says it looks like number 10 cotton. It's working really well. It doesn't seem to fray, even with the way that I'm, I have to thread that needle. No, the way I get to thread that needle, because it is a blessing. That needle is a blessing, I'm telling you. Okay. So breaking the paper, I'm just going through and folding these down so that um, be able to write on them if, you know. So if you were going to be making a journal that you're going to be journaling like a scrapbook, I would, I would probably leave it at this. I would go ahead. I would, I don't, you know what? I wouldn't even close the pockets. Because you might want to cut the pockets. But if you were like a December daily type thing. Or you wanted to journal what's going on. And you wanted to be able to add pictures. And maybe that thing that we got in the mail here in the United States the other day. About the, well we got it. Um, maybe it was just California. But it, it had... It was about the election coming up, but it was, but it also had stuff about um, what's going on and what we need to do. And um, so, you know, if you were going to cut something like that out and put it in here, I think that that would be great. Now, if you were going to do that, I would make this the two signatures and just 15 pages each because you're going to, once you start filling it up with that kind of stuff, you're going to just do what I guess they call it alligator mouth <laughs> so um, yeah there we go that is that so um, I just heard Tom and we're supposed to take the dog up to the butte if you guys are if you're friends with me um, we've gone to taking him up to we have a little tiny it's a butte so it's the push up rocks that got pushed up out of the out of the earth and um and he loves it and he he sleeps better and it gives us you know time together because when we're here we're both doing our own thing um but we'll be going ahead now the next thing is we'll be adding the items first the first thing i'm going to do is add the items that i made for this journal and 
um, I, I don't know. I think I was, I think I did all these on video, but uh, we made quite a few. So let's look and see what we've got. And I can start thinking about, and you can be thinking about where we might put them. So we have our double pocket bank envelope. And there is a video in the beginner series of this. I am calling this the um, cereal box journal while we are home beginners junk journal series. So what we're doing in this, that's what it's called. And um, the, the videos, all the videos with these embellishments, the title will change to reflect that um, tomorrow. I have to do that on the big computer. I can't do it on the on my phone so um, okay so we made some tags and some of them have pockets this is a coin envelope that we did and it has a pocket here note paper oh it's a is it a tag flip yeah it's a tag flip I don't even remember it's been a day or two so that's a tag flip fits right in there and I can move these things around. They don't have to stay where we put them. This was just note paper, and I folded it, and it went into the coin envelope. Okay. So, um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, guest check, collaged guest check with a flinch card from the flinch card digital kit. And that was, the, that's right, that was the back of the guest check. It says so right there, back. <laughs> that was from pattern paper, you guys, from pattern tissue. Um, this is a little clipboard, so it could get a little note like that. It can also clip onto a smaller journal page um, like that if if you wanted to do that so that is clip oh i love this <clears throat> i love i love the way this turned out so we made three of these these are the rub-ons from um dollar tree we did some some items with the rub-ons and then we used these really cool quotes that i had from the wrapping paper and then we did make some little ticket see their tickets and they're just little ticket ephemera and then we did the the day that we did the ones with the the black sticker this was fun you guys doing this this way and just using things that i had um and i love the way that they all turned out they're they're all similar oh this was the day we did the batch so making several that are the same, but showing you how fast you can make them um, when you're doing something similar and you've already thought it in your head and you just go ahead and make three of them or five of them. This is the quote book that I get from... Um, the rub-ons were with the stickers and the craft stuff. So these are flip up, flip downs, flip up, flip down. So these can either go into a pocket. So if you already have a pocket, they can go into the pocket. If you already have a pocket, if you have a pocket, <laughs> we'll be making pockets. It looks like, so you can put it in a pocket or you can make a pocket, glue it down, still have the flip up, flip down, and you have a pocket. So these are some more of the ones we made with the sticker set that I had. And here we took one of the, the cards and we made a little flip tuck. And we used the little tiny paper clip from Tim Holtz. Cause look, at, isn't that so cute? Oh, another one of the, the ephemera. This was a little fold out note so I just was showing you how to use note paper and so we made just a fold out note just folded it up and tied it 
stuck it to our finger. This one's a flip up. So we decorated it. We added fabric down here and it's just going to flip up. Then this is the note paper and the note paper. So it's the little note paper to the medium note paper. And we made a pocket out of it. And so it can be a floating note or we can add it in as a um, tip in. The embellishments were made last week. So they are, the, all the embellishments were made in the beginner's journal, junk journal series last week. And so then this was, oh, this was from that page of cards. These uh, digitals, the butterflies that you're seeing here, this is all from the flutters and fairy and flutter or flower fairy and flutter. It's a digital, digital kit. Fairies, flutters, and flowers. And the words are from wrapping paper that I have. So, but we made these all in those videos last week. You can, um, there's a playlist in the description box called Beginner's Junk Journal Series. And, um, oh, I don't know that they've all made it in there. I have to go back after the live and put everything in, and I, I don't think I did. So I need to do that. Um, so here's the butterfly one, and we flipped it up. We added a rub on and some of the washi tape and one of the little journaling cards. These are bingo markers from the bingo set at Dollar General. You'll hear me say Dollar General a lot because Dollar General is literally two blocks. Not even, I mean, not even a quarter of a mile. Not like like the the car doesn't even heat up <laughs> or cool down before I'm there. So um, I use them a lot. So here are the little ticket ephemera. And we stamped a butterfly. I got these cool, cool tickets from one of my friends. And they had used them for a raffle. And I wish I had more because they are the most perfect color. And so those ones we made all the same. The only thing different was the washi tape was a little different. So you can see it's going to be really fun to add these into this journal. Um, this is a stack of note. So it just has... Oh yeah, this okay, this one? <laughs> That's right. We stacked it from the bottom. Okay. So it's different. We were being different. And this is a flat paper clip that we put up at the top. So this was note paper day. And this is a, an upside down waterfall. Okay. We also used crossword puzzle and the clues from the crossword puzzle when we were making our embellishments. This. I think this is my favorite week of embellishments that I've ever made was this last week. So, and then we still have the, these, remember we started out, I was going to make six of everything and figured I'd never get to show you anything else if we didn't move on that day. So, um, so we did three of each one. So... I hope everybody is having a great day. Um, we do have tomorrow either the letter W or the letter X. Um, depending on how many videos I get made tomorrow, we may even get to have two premieres. Um, and then the live will go ahead and do at 2.35 because my husband gets home early when he works on Fridays. So, um, so live tomorrow will be at 2.35. Uh, the, so the March party, if you finished your journal in March and you posted it as it should be posted, um, I will set up the group and start the invitation. I, as soon as I finish the digital that needs to go in there, but plan for Tuesday so Kelly can come. 
So Tuesday at 3.35 will be the party for the March uh, journal. And so if you're going party, what party? Um, I do a challenge each month on my, my channel. And the prize for, for just for doing the challenge and finishing it you get invited to a VIP. It's a virtual internet party. And it's literally, we do have a virtual internet party. Um, but in the party group is a digital that I made. So we're going to put that in there for you. And, oh, sorry. Sorry, Joyce. Did I give you a margarine when you were here earlier? I'm sorry. But I am sorry that you had a migraine. Um, okay, so Tuesday, two Tuesday at three thirty-five will be the party. So the um, the premiere on Tuesday morning will be a beginner's um, video. So I'll pro I'll do something that I, you know, like maybe with some sewing or something where I can't be in front of the camera the whole time the premieres are really fun they're pre-recorded videos like my regular videos um, but when we do the premiere all of us are watching it as it premieres on YouTube we're all watching it at the same time and when I say we that means I get to be there too and I get to be in the chat and um, I can answer questions I think it is a really great way for us to do, especially the challenge. And um, so that's uh, that's what we got. So thank you, Kelly, for needing to, to see that. And so this is bound. It is bound. So from yesterday's video, I was able to make this. I added coffee dyed paper and that wallpaper. So this piece and coffee dyed paper. Then it was too full. So I took stuff out and, uh, oh, this, we're missing some, some of the embellishments fell out. So there's that and there's our, our cool, this thing with the chair. Anyway, um, so I, I made another journal with the pages that were on my desk, I added the wallpaper. This is from Courting Lady Jane Digital Kit. And so this is the single signature journal that I was able to make. I added coffee dyed paper, but the other pa pages that were on my desk that I didn't use, I put in this. Okay, so I have a, a so this journal. If, if some of this needs to go in here, that's fine. Why not get two journals finished at the same time, right? So um, so this one has a little, just, it has tiny houses in it is the, the, the kit. And um, the cover has the Courting Lady Jane Rose, because I am going to put roses in. I have, I have a lot of the ephemera from this. And I want to use it. So the one other thing that I was able to make with the with the stuff on the desk is being elusive. I also started a um, a list journal, and it's gray, and it's going to be really cool. And it has the all it has so far is. The two gray parchment pages and the Mother's Day page that I had with the mama or the nanny pushing the baby stroller or baby carriage. And it has a couple of other things in it. So, but there you go. We are on a roll. On a roll. So I want to thank you guys for being here. Um, thank you for all the thumbs up. Yay! You know, as a as a YouTube um, creator, I guess that's I'm a YouTube creator. It is very helpful for the to have the thumbs up, 
And um, the other thing that's really helpful is if you go and watch another video after you've watched one of my videos or any creator's video, especially if you really liked it, um, that YouTube, the way that they put our videos into suggestive is by how we keep people on YouTube. So um, you're going to start seeing in my videos at the end of the video, there will be some suggestions for you for videos to go watch. Um, but you can go watch any artist, um, anything on YouTube, and that would be helpful. I really appreciate all of you for being here. I want to thank my moderators and uh, the Juliets. So the moderators are my wrenches. See, they, they've all got, they're carrying a wrench. So, um, and we have named our community or the people in our community, um, the Juliets, which I really was having, I was struggling with that, but they've decided that that's who it's going to be. <laughs> So I want to welcome you all to the uh, to Dear Julie Julie and the Juliets, and um, I'm excited about what you guys uh, got going there in the middle of this, and I look forward to seeing what you um, do with that, and uh, I think you got, what, two more days, two days to finish your mini challenge in the challenge number three. Remember, ch uh, three, mini challenge three and four. Um, go together. They're two parts. So all you need to do is finish the base and your 14 to 20 page journal that goes into that flip um, file folder flip. So uh, I hope you guys are getting some something out of everything. <laughs> something out of everything. Um, I will see you tomorrow at 1030 with the premiere and again at 235 live uh, I want to thank you again. Find something to celebrate every day. It's, it's sat, isn't it Saturday? Oh boy. Did I mess that up too? April. I have an April calendar. It's the 25th. Because we started late. Isn't that the 25th? I'm giving you till Saturday. <laughs> okay you guys thank you so much thank you for being here have an amazing day be safe and keep crafting bye bye bye